In this quick video, I will show you how we can bring in an elevation view into concepts, scale everything to a particular scale. And then when we sketch over it, everything is to that particular scale. That's one of the beauty actually of concepts, which is why I don't use Procreate. So this image, we will drop into a new document in concepts. The image you can download, the link is in the video description. And there we are. We can start scale it down a little bit. Don't rotate it. Very good. Let's make a new layer, um, sorting manual. And the first thing we want to do is go to preferences and we need to set up our drawing scale. Let's set this to one to 10 or actually one to one to 12, let's say. Okay, so one inch equal 12 inches. This is also feet and inches, very good. Then we turn measure on. We'll make this straight and let's draw something. So you see this is this line is now 20 uh, inches or 14 inches. When I draw something here, this should be seven feet. It's actually 18 inches. So our scale is not ideal. Let's say we set this to seven feet. Okay. Now when I draw something, there you see, this is actually now seven feet. I'm getting very close there. Okay, interesting. This basically tells you how it is possible to create lines, which then really reflect a particular scale. Ideally, what we also want to do, even while there are established scales to draw in, I want to not have this image too small or too big. I want it to fit nicely on my page, more or less. So when I start sketching, I have something that really looks good. I can always later increase the scale, make a drawing really one to one if I have to. One would be actually a pretty big drawing. That, that size of paper needs to be made first, but you get my, my point. The key really is when I draw something like a wall thickness, a wall height, the proportions have to be correct. Okay, very good. So we want this to be getting like seven feet, seven and a half inches. That is seven feet, 0.62 feet. What about we set this to 10? I'm curious actually what this then will look like. How long is this line? Oh, okay, so it got shorter. What about we make this five? And you see this is actually longer, cool. Okay, good. So maybe this one to five could work out. Now you see with the line smoothing or making it 100% smoothed, I can turn everything into a nice straight line, but I can draw them at every angle. I want them to go vertical, horizontal. To do this, very easy. Let's go to the grid, edit grid, and then here for the points, let's say 12. So every foot we have one dot. That makes it very easy to see. Now basically um, we can turn also snap on, align, this is all good, very nice. So here you see, it's very easy, we can draw horizontal or vertical lines. So now to get the image to the correct dimension, I will set up actually here my tools. I will make this uh, kind of like this, this, the color should be black. Very good there. And we have actually a fixed width 
this is actually pretty good. Or we even have wire with the wire. It's just really a straight line. This works really good. We want to do just straight technical drawings. So I will draw just a line and then select the line with a finger go onto the dimension, hold, and then 7.62, enter. So this line is now my reference and my image needs to be scaled to that. So I go to my image layer, select the image. Oh, I don't really see the line. Well, let's change the transparency. Then this works much better. And now I can scale this. And this is a little bit eyeballing, but there we are, very good. Now this image should never be scaled anymore. No, no scaling. I only can move this around because this image now is to scale and I can zoom in, position it to a corner on the grid. There, very nice. I can also lock it. And now I can go ahead and start sketching everything the way how I want. And see, that's 10 feet for the foundation. That's pretty accurate. This should be six. I'm not sure what they mean. Ah, should be 10 feet now. There, yeah, 10 feet, 10 inches, I mean, sorry. Um, here we have a distance 16, no, there, it fits. So you see, actually, this is really nice. So ideally, or not ideally, basically with this, you started to see that um, I can also start by scratch um, a new drawing, set a scale, and then start sketching and everything will be perfect or if I have a drawing like this a blueprint or something I can scale it down and then start sketching so um, I really don't need a measurement um, when I draw something I can see the readout and I know this is 15 for like a wall thickness like five inches and I have to be a little bit uh, more zoomed in for longer lines if this should be a tall um, basement wall there, kind of like eight feet. I can do this a little bit more from less zoomed out, but I'm um, kind of like repeating myself. So I want to stop here because I think you started to understand kind of like what I tried to show you in this video.